Well, in many parts of the country, this election is far from a race between two or even three main parties. It's the minority parties that are hoping to benefit come the 6th of May, particularly following the expenses scandal, which tarnished the reputations of Labour and Conservative MPs in particular. Joined by the leader of the UK Independence Party, Lord Pearson. Are you just another Conservative Party with a different coloured rosette? No, not at all. Uh, if the Conservative Party has a working majority, that is really the end of this country as we know it, because they have refused any sort of referendum on our EU membership. And after five more years of integration, it will really be very difficult to get out. So I agree that we want a hung parliament, and out of that we may get some system of proportional representation for the future. And after all, this, this election is pretty much a phony election anyway, with most of our law now being made, most of our national law, now being made in Brussels, and the three main, well, old, failed, discredited parties uh, refusing to discuss our EU membership, which is colossally expensive, we can't afford it. But if, it, if they were all failed and um, no longer able to govern, then of course they wouldn't be governing. I mean, uh, but UKIP doesn't have the sort of well, votes we're, that we're perhaps not electing we're expecting. A government. We're, we're not electing a government now. Our government has moved to Brussels, where most of our national law is now made. We are being asked to choose by some second-rate managers as to who is going to run this country under the diktats of Brussels. That is the choice in front of us. And the only way to change that is actually to vote for one of the minority parties, to move towards a hung parliament, and I obviously say that the, the one to vote for is clearly UKIP. To find out more about who we are and what we stand for, go to the UK Independence Party website at www.ukip.org.